everyone and welcome to the Crows show as we wrap up the home and away season and look forward to the finals beginning next week. Thanks to Farmers Union Ice Coffee, it's already been a year to remember, particularly here at Adelaide Oval and we'll look back later in the show at some highlights. Also today, we'll explore why basketballers seem to make good footballers. And we've got numerous guys that have played college basketball for four or five years and then you know, they come and have a go and not everyone's going to make it, but you know, for the couple that do it, it makes it worthwhile. Share the journey with fans as they head to the game. we a Crows signed footy for you guys today. Meeting Eddie was the, uh, was the highlight by far again. How you doing? Enjoy the win. And look back on the Crows' first and only minor premiership. 2005 was, um, you know, really enjoyable. We had a good, good team uh, that year. Um, you know, we were quite successful, but ultimately we weren't. We, you know, we didn't take that, you know, that final step. But first, a football year that started full of promise for Brent Riley ended abruptly when he suffered a serious head injury. The training accident forced his early retirement, but the Crows were keen not to lose Brent's years of experience, so they offered him a coaching role. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for the opportunity to, up to update you on my health situation. My medical team have told me that given the impact of the accident and subsequent surgery, that they are unanimous in their recommendation that I never play contact sport again. I'm um, seven months into the injury or the incident that I had. Um, I've had uh, some recent scans and see the specialist again in a, a week. Uh, so hopefully I can find out when I can drive um, and start, start doing some other things. So uh, just looking forward to seeing him and seeing where I'm at. I feel like I can do everything. Um, you know, I'm still going to be conscious of how much I actually do. Um, but as the days go on, I'm starting to get more out of the day. I'm not tired anymore. Um, but the only thing that's held me back, I just can't drive. So I just lost my independence there for a little while. But uh, hopefully I can get that back soon. Um, I think the coaching caper, it's a lot more than just, uh, you know, I used to rock up as a player and you just, just look after yourself. and. And you know, sometimes you look after other players, but at the same time, being a coach, you have to look after your, your group. Uh, you have to worry about the opposition. Uh, it's a lot, lot more uh, demanding than actually what I thought. But no, I enjoy it. Still keen to hang around the club and help out as much as possible. At the same time, I've got to look after my health, and you know, I'm on the right path, and I don't want to upset that. So I fall down the the trap again of uh, getting myself uh, ill or um, not well. So uh, yeah, just looking forward to the next part and uh, what decision I make. We certainly wish Brent good health and every success in the future. Now a past player, Brent can join the strong group of former Crows who actively contribute to the club culture. Their engagement includes a recent training session where, along with their children, they mingle with current players and swap stories. Rod Jamison leads the past players movement. Uh, it was actually an initiative of Phil, uh, Phil Walsh, and uh, he was really keen on trying to create a footy club and create that football club environment. So part of that's re-engaging with your past players, which can be challenging at times, because obviously people move on with their lives, but um, the way in is sometimes through their kids. So to get all the kids here tonight and uh, to see them running around out on the oval was really good. And I think the players really enjoy being around that sort of family environment as well. So it was a good night. It's been something that I've been involved in now for quite some time. And um, our committee's moved to a formal board and um, we're establishing all certain initiatives. And this is just one, uh, another one to get everyone together and involve their children in the club. I know that everyone chooses to back who they want and do what they like, but getting us all involved and getting little kids to meet their stars or future stars is fantastic. And look, it's great for whether it's a little boy or little girl to run around on, on Adelaide Oval and I know the current group are really keen to do that and engage that too, so um, we certainly encourage that as much as we can. It's not just great for the kids, it's good for us older blokes to catch up and have a chat, but look, it's, I, I think it's fantastic for the footy club to do it. We'll speak to the past players, see if they enjoyed it, and uh, if they did, then yeah, absolutely, we'll look at doing it next year. It is a challenge at times with other commitments and work, and, and some are restricted by getting here, but 
which as long as all of our past players and officials know that this is what we do and this is how we do it, if you can turn up, it'd be great to see you. Later in the show, Nathan Van Berlo explains how senior players mentor the younger guys. You know, it was only today at training that a couple of young boys were asking um, what finals footy's like.